In this video, I'm using my MG5 Standard Rage 52 kilowatt an hour battery, and I'll be doing comparison between uh, Curse 1, regenerative braking, and Curse 3. Which one's gonna be more efficient? Let's find out. Uh, believe it or not, when I was uh, driving Nissan Leaf 24 kilowatt hour for four years, I found the cruising uh, most efficient, and I never used the brake mode. So uh, let's see which one actually is better on MG5. Coming up. In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, continue straight onto Tutbury Road, A511. Okay, so this is the first way of driving. Uh, 3.8 kilowatts an hour, I did 30 miles using no region whatsoever. So if you use this button, uh, three is the most aggressive braking, but when you press it down to one, it's more like a cruising. The car does not slow down much and doesn't use much uh, energy when you take your foot off accelerator. So that's not bad. However, let's try the other one with region three and see if that's any difference. We're gonna try to get more. You see, with my Nissan Leaf, I was able to get like up to five a kilowatt an hour so maybe I was doing wrong and I was uh, use more region uh, than I wasn't but let's find out I have to say I can see the difference already uh, with regenerative braking modes uh, and the results are, wow. I was always wondering, uh, because my average consumption uh, in this MG5 was about 2.9 miles to the kilowatt in winter, and about 3.6, 3.8 uh, when it's warmer. But I could see some people on the internet, Facebook groups, etc., sharing theirs, like 4.5. And I just could not believe how they managed to achieve that. Uh, I was always using a cruising mode, no regenerative braking whatsoever because uh, I found it annoying when I was uh, testing cars. I did not like the e-pedal mode in BMW or Nissan Leaf. But now I think this is the way if you really want to go economically. I've got about 10 miles to get home and then we're going to have a look at the numbers. Uh, and going with the numbers we can expect overall range uh, with the car. Okay, so I just have arrived home and let's have a look at the numbers. Okay, so you can see Similar distance, uh, about 30 miles, similar time, even average speed uh, was pretty the same. But however, look at the consumption, 4.5 kilowatts to an hour. That's pretty impressive. That's a lot better than I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, but let's do the maths and see uh, what will be uh, range from the full battery based on those numbers. Let's put 48.8. This is actual capacity of the battery times 3.8 gives us 185 okay but if we put 4.5 we actually get in nearly 220 miles from today definitely i will be using more uh, region braking to get that uh, better range really so i'm pretty impressed with that please let me know your thoughts about driving electric cars using regenerative braking uh, I was um, making a video about MG5, uh, why I think this is the best value for money electric car. And I've got the feeling uh, you might like to watch that video. If you'd like to have a look at it, go and clip up here. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.